On January 5th, you also need to vote for your incredible Republican Senator, Kelly Leffler. <laughs> Kelly has been an exceptional champion for Georgia's workers and families. And I know what they fight for. They, if I could tell you about David, I could tell you about Kelly. She fights for you every single day, loves your state. When our nation was hit with the China virus, Senator Leffler helped rescue the U.S. economy by voting to pass a historic $3 trillion bill, relief for American workers and families. And a lot of people were against it, and it turned out to be a great thing, Kelly. Thank you. A lot of people said, oh, it's too much. I said, it's not their fault, and I want to get them more money now. And I like the higher number rather than the lower number. We'll make it back. With her help, we secured $15 billion for 175,000 Georgia small businesses and saved 1.5 million Georgia jobs. That was both of them, really, both of them. <laughs> Kelly is a relentless advocate for Georgia farmers, and she has fought tirelessly to get them relief in this pandemic. And by the way, her husband is a fine man who's one of the most respected men in the country. I want to tell you that. I want to tell you that. He's a great man. He's a great gentleman. At the urging of, you know, if you're successful today, it's supposed to be a bad thing. No, I think it means you're smart sometimes, right? He's a smart guy, but he's a great guy. He's a great man. At the urging of Kelly and David, my administration took historic action to protect growers of Georgia blueberries, peppers, squash, and cucumbers. Who, who does cucumbers around here? Because I like cucumbers. Can you? I'm the only one. I like cucumbers. When our law enforcement heroes were under attack, Senator Leffler stood up to the Marxists and introduced legislation to protect our brave men and women in blue, and she was threatened all over the place. That threat meant nothing. That was a wasted number of phone calls, or however the hell they threatened you. That was a waste of time. She also introduced legislation to prevent Democrat gun grabbers like Beto O'Rourke. Remember Beto? Beto. There's a guy, he has another one. He wants to take your guns away. Oh, by the way, Trump is going to lose Texas, but Beto O'Rourke, who's a big factor in that whole thing, wants to take... Remember when Beto was running, he was riding high, and then Ted Cruz has done a great job, beat Beto O'Rourke. But Beto was riding high for a while. And remember he made, he was on the cover of a certain really bad magazine, I won't mention the name, it's failing, it won't be in business for another six months, I don't think, I hope. But... He was on the cover, and he said, I was born to do this. And I said, anybody that says they were born to do this, they're going to be losing very quickly. And you know what? Within about two months, he was a stone-cold loser. <laughs> and just weeks ago, Senator Leffler cast her vote to confirm our newest Supreme Court Justice, Amy Coney Barrett. <laughs> 